So today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi Brushless Impact Driver versus the Milwaukee Brushless Impact Driver. Now both of these uh, companies have a higher model impact driver. This is like the one below it for each of them. We are going to do a control test with one uh, Timberlock screw with a 2 amp hour. Then we're going to continue on to the 3 amp hour high output and the 3 amp hour HP. Then we're going to continue to do the this 9 amp hour and the 8 amp hour HP and high output. And like I said, both of these companies, the Ryobi has a more powerful impact than the P239 and the Milwaukee has a more powerful impact than the 2850-20. All right, so uh, this is gonna be in a future video, so subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. But today's video is gonna be about these two. So this is gonna be an interesting one. Milwaukee is a variable trigger only. Uh, it is model number 2850-20. Uh, it goes to zero to 4200 impacts per minute and 0 to 3400 RPMs. And so I'll put in the torque right now, if I could find it. Very simple, uh, very simple settings. All right, and the Ryobi is model number P239. It is 0 to 2900 RPMs and 0 to 3900 impacts per minute, which the Ryobi is uh, 300 impacts per minute less than the Milwaukee and is also 500 RPMs less than the Milwaukee. So the Milwaukee has a major advantage of having more impacts per minute and being faster. So uh, like I said, both of these are variable trigger only. And so let's get on with the test. Okay, first we are gonna do some timber lock screws. And also first we are gonna use the two amp hour batteries for the both of the tools. The two amp hour battery and the Milwaukee's full bars. And there is no, and let's look at the battery status on this. And the battery for the two amp hour on the Ryobi is full. So we're gonna do one screw each just to see what the difference is. All right, I'm gonna get another five sixteenths. All right, so is the collet pushing? Nope, we gotta adjust the collet. All right, so go. Is the collet push in on the Milwaukee? Nope, we gotta adjust the collet. Ready? Go. All right, you can definitely tell that the that the anvil inside kicked in a lot uh, later than the Ryobi's did, which is a, a good thing for the Milwaukee because the sooner your uh, anvil kicks in, that means the less power your tool has. All right, so let's take out. Let's take it out. The Ryobi is going to take out the Milwaukee's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Ooh, that that feels a lot. The Milwaukee actually feels lighter than the Ryobi does. All right, so ready. Alrighty, so two amp hour battery test is done. We are gonna go to the three amp hour high output for the Milwaukee. And we're gonna go to the three amp hour high output compact for the Ryobi. Now this specific battery uh, has 21,700 cells. All right, so the model number for the battery is P195. This is a special buy. Like this, uh, this battery is a special, very special battery. Uh, for the HP system. All right, so we'll do the Ryobi first. Ready, go. Time. All right, time for the Milwaukee. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, we'll do another one. The Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. Excellent, let's do the Milwaukee. All right, so ready, 
Go. All right, so we're gonna do Ryobi next. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, and last one of the timber locks when it comes to, dr comes to driving them in. Ready, go. Time. All righty, so we are gonna take them out uh, three at a time. There's a total of six. All right, so ready, go. Time. All righty. All right, so it is the Milwaukee's turn. All right, so ready, go. Time. And very, very good. All righty, so what we are going to do is we are going to have... The Ryobi put in, we're going to have the Ryobi put in a 4 inch lag uh, with the 3 amp hour battery and the same thing with uh, Milwaukee. Then we're going to switch batteries to the 8 and 9. We're going to put in a 6 inch lag and see how these, these two do. Alright, so right there is good. Alright, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Milwaukee, he's gonna it's gonna put its four inch lag in there. Right there is good. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Yeah, the Milwaukee dominated that, I think. All right, so what we are, we are going to do now is we are going to switch out batteries. The 9 amp hour HP for the Ryobi. And 8 amp hour high output for the Milwaukee. Now, I am sorry uh, that it's a... Uh, this is one amp hour higher than this. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to drive in the six, and then we are going to have uh, them both take out two lags at once. Alrighty, like I said, the variable trigger only. I'll be amazed that the Ryobi could even do this. All right, so ready, go. battery life on that that is that might go back up to four bars all right and it is time for the time for the milwaukee it's six inch lag all right so right here is good all right so ready go Alrighty, now whenever that happens, if it just spins, I do not start the clock uh, when that happens. I start the clock once it actually starts driving it in. Because that could be the 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 wood or the lag screw itself. So that does not, uh, I never include that. Now, uh, Ryobi is going to take out the Milwaukee's and uh, Milwaukee's going to take out Ryobi's. Alright, so this was uh, Milwaukee's and so is this. All right, so we're gonna do it at once. I'm gonna to go to the next lag as soon as possible. All right, so ready, go. Oh. I wasn't expecting that, though. 
that came out. All right, so we're just gonna continue. Continue. And time. All righty, so let's switch over to the Milwaukee. I didn't realize the socket was gonna come out like that. All right, so we're gonna do the four, the four and the six. All right, so the four is first. Ready, go. Wow, both of those are bad man pajamas. All right, but let's do a quick temperature reading. 57, 61, 57. Wait, I thought it was, nope. The highest temperature on the Ryobi is 63 degrees. All right, and surprisingly, the highest point on the Milwaukee is 78 degrees. So the Ryobi ran cooler. That's surprising. Interesting. All righty, so both of those did exceptionally well when it comes to the tasks at hand. And, uh, and yeah, the, the high output battery and the HP battery, the high amped ones are phenomenal batteries. And it majorly increases the power to, to the tool. So which is awesome that the companies gave us these type of batteries to, uh, to use instead of getting a more powerful tool. They're like, let's get a more powerful battery. And so that's what they did so on the exterior is the Ryobi has a light on the base with a magnet tray and a uh, space to put your, uh, your bit on. And the Milwaukee has a single LED light underneath the anvil housing. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. More versus videos are coming up and more unboxings. So like I said uh, in previous videos, this channel is only getting started with all these videos. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.